Well, now, welcome back, our resident designer, Hamish Dodd. And you've been checking out exactly what we can get for our money when we're looking at kitchens. That's right. Following up on uh, Mel and his extravaganza of beauty, <gasps> I thought we'd oh, better talk amazing. dollars, hadn't we? <laughs> yes. So what I did was I jumped on the phone, chatted to the guys at Mastercraft and said, right, give me some breakdowns. They said, OK, Hamish, run with... 15 grand and sort of under. Let's face it, it's going to be 15 grand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me too. Yeah. Yeah. 15 to 40, so that's sitting in your middle bracket, and 40 grand and up. Okay, kicking off, we've got 15 grand and under. Okay. You're not getting a large kitchen for See, this, that sounds okay? like a lot of money, but it's not for a kitchen, is it? It's not, and this is not counting appliances either, okay? Right. But there's a fair bit of stuff that goes into a kitchen. So you've got your bench tops, so you're talking about your high pressure laminates, you're talking about formica. Okay, uh, when it comes to things like the the cupboards and bits and pieces, they're going to be a low pressure laminate, so they're going to be more like your Maltica ranges. I don't mind these products; they work. You're certainly not getting a scullery. No dreams there. Right. You're probably going to get some sloth closed drawers, where you should at least make that a part of the package you want. Yeah. Uh, and but you're not getting all the fancy, you know, racking and shelving inside it. Okay. Yeah, I would say though that those soft closed drawers, the ones that you slam yeah. and then they shut softly at the end, they're good. Everybody should have. Anyone who's got children should have those <laughs> drawers because honestly. They make things yeah. last longer. You think about the old doors and cupboards that used to slam and bang and then they yeah. get loose and stuff. That doesn't happen anymore because everything's nice and quiet. Yeah. And it's well worth the investment when it comes to kitchens, isn't it? Because, you know, you've got... Uh, it's the heart of the home. It's used constantly. It is. I mean, it is It is an expensive part of the home, but it is hammered. So I guess that's when we move into the middle of the bracket. So okay. this, is, this is where most people sit. Right. Perhaps if they're building a new home with a new kitchen. Maybe not. <laughs> Should we call them second home buyers, perhaps? Yeah. You know, yeah. Nick, Nick, you've done your beginning, now you're moving up. For this, we're going to be getting things um, like the designer tech sort of um, cabinets. This is where they're almost like shrink wrapped. They're hard, they're durable. That is good for kids. It's the step up well, from your malamines. Well, that's nice. There it is. You're talking about moving into your entry level composites and things like that, so you can have a slightly nicer. Benchtop. You may get a scullery. You may be able to squeeze that in. Ooh. It's not going to be a huge one. You've got a middle-sized kitchen What's here an too. What's entry-level composite? Um, entry-level composite. So the more cost-effective composite stone benchtops, not the high-end ones. So you're not getting your Koreans and bits and pieces, okay. but you can find products that will work for you. Okay. okay you're so also going to get better quality sinkware and stuff like yeah. that. You know, all that sort of stuff starts to shuffle up into the next bracket. Taps? Should you be spending money on taps? Oh, you should always spend money on yeah. taps, and you know that's something. Even if you've got a more cost-effective kitchen, you've got to have a reasonable tap. It takes a hammering, using it all the time, on, yeah. off, on, off, twisting it round, children yanking yeah. on them, doing bad things to them. Yeah. They'll leak. We don't want that sort of yeah. thing happening. When you are redeveloping your kitchen, how long does it roughly take, do you know? If, say if you're spending 40 grand, you want to put a nice new kitchen in, how long does it take? Because that well, kitchen's going to be it's, out it's of gonna, action. It's, it's it? going to take... Well, yeah, well, this is the thing. You want to plan it well. So from the, the initial planning process, it could take a few months, you see. Right. So you've got to have the kitchen made. You've got to settle on how your design's going to be. Are there any other remedial works that are going to be done to yeah. the site? Uh, I've just finished one and it's been three months doing one in an apartment because we decided to refloor it and fix all the walls oh. up. So the project grew. Not so great for the poor client who's still yeah. not no quite kitchen. got their kitchen there. On their barbecue <laughs> out the back. Yeah. Hamish, can I get my hobs? Oh, it's no. about worth the wait though. I'm sure when you get the finished product, let's look at what we can get for 40 plus. Yeah, yeah. I want, I want okay. the fancy stuff. Well, 40 plus, where's it in? You're getting all the um, internals of the kitchen are going to be sensational. So you've got your anti-slams, you've got the fancy racking systems, the spice racks, stainless steel bench tops, um, composite bench tops like Corian start to come into play. Uh, wow. You can curve your kitchen, so you can start putting more emphasis into it, much like we saw with Mal's kitchen. I would love to have endless money just to go and do, get anything you want <laughs> in a kitchen. Imagine that, anything you wanted. Well, that's it. I mean, you get to have all that fun with splashbacks and everything. Oh, so yes. it, so it does become endless at that point. How long's a piece of string, oh, really? I'd be so much fun, though, wouldn't it? I'd well, love to do that. Yeah, and I'm really surprised surprised actually because you know what you've shown us um, you know for around that fifteen to forty thousand dollar mark is very impressive. You get a lot. Yeah you do get you a lot do. don't you? Yeah. And very exciting too nothing like making a first meal in your brand new kitchen and you keep it clean for ages because like <laughs> so proud of it. It's yeah. always clean. No curry stains on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah true. <laughs> okay um, thank you so much Hamish. No drama. Got to move along but um, yeah always a pleasure to see you. Thanks.